Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you have not watched my last video, it should be uh, somewhere in the card up on top. Okay, so it is really cold outside, as you can see. I'm all snuggled up. So some uh, months back, a viewer questioned me about how my uh, cigar humidor was doing, so I decided just to do a quick update. Okay, uh, again, somewhere in the card, you will see the full review, and it's a long review because I'm showing you step by step how I cleaned it up and uh, used it. It took me, I think, about three days to do that video. So I'm grabbing here my phone on the side. Um, to be exact, I did this video back in November of 2018, and it has been my most viewed video. Um, by the title, you know what's the name of the uh, of the humidor. Uh, it's the Weiner, if I'm not pronouncing it wrong, the Weiner Cigar Humidor CHC251S. Okay, so my humidor is working perfectly. It's, I mean, I still have it. I'm still using it. Okay, um, I'm not going to be doing a video showing you uh, of the humidor because it's on the floor in my man cave and it's really uncomfortable to bring the camera, have good lighting. So I decided to take pictures and hopefully uh, it's going to work well. Okay, over here I'm going to look to my computer, my laptop here. I'm going to look at the pictures so I can talk at the same time. So as you can see, okay, the humidor uh, fits uh, four open trays, has four open trays, uh, as well as two uh, closed uh, boxes and the bottom part of the humidor uh, where you can store. Uh, on the bottom I actually have two empty boxes, cigar boxes. Uh, if you can see uh, and I also have it has two thermometers the one that came with the humidor and one that I purchased on the side the the one I purchased on the side I haven't uh, basically calibrated the um, the the the, um, the thermometer the so it's it's the temperature is off but it is right at the, where I like it about like 65 66 the cigar I mean everybody has their own temperature uh, me personally I've been doing this like I said for, since 2018 and I do have aged cigars there and I've smoked them and they are still great smokes okay so the next picture uh, you'll see you'll actually see what I'm talking about. Um, the the white um, thermometer, it, the temperature is off. That, that temperature is not right. Uh, I haven't fixed it, but I do have the temperature that comes with the humidor and that that's working fine, as well as the one that came uh, with the humidor itself. As you can see, the top, uh, these top uh, trays, like I said, one, two, three, four, this is where I have my most uh, expensive cigars. Uh, I have the, the all the way in the bottom, as you can see. There's the there's Cub there's Cubans, uh, as well as I have a few uh, gold cigars, and I do have Cigarillos. I have a uh, Davidoff, um, and uh, as well as uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, there too. Uh, I have not filled up the humidor to the max. Um, I just haven't. That's too many cigars for me and I do want to recycle them uh, you know smoke them what that's what I meant not recycle them I do recycle them in the sense that I want to smoke them so th I don't age them that long either I don't want them to lose the quality okay Th which I have not lost any quality okay because I have smoked them one, right when I got them and I have also smoked them after uh, a few months in okay the next picture okay it's a little lower down the humidor, uh, you can see now a little better. Uh, the um, the Cubans, they're in the box, and then you I have two more other trays. Okay, inside those trays, I have what I call my uh, daily uh, smokers. If I'm smoking, just a quick, if I want to just quickly smoke a cigar, just quickly. Uh, 
that's where I have my, my cheaper ones. Okay, I'm not going to market them. I'm not going to tell you which which brand they are. That is really up to you what you consider a good cigar and what you consider uh, a cheap cigar. But this is where I have, quote unquote, my cheaper cigars. And for example, if somebody's coming over and they want to smoke and they're not a smoker, and I know they're not going to finish the whole cigar, they will might just smoke half of a cigar and just throw out the rest. This is what I would normally give them. I would give them this instead of obviously a Cuban or a Cohiba, um, a Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't do that. Okay. The um, next picture, as you can see, okay, that is where I have the... Uh, I actually have my Romeo and Julietas here. Okay, these are decent. I, as you can see, there's also one of, the, of those crystals. Those... Uh, they're working too. I have them in there just in case as backup to make sure it's fresh and it works well. And also, I know it looks a little messy back there. Those are Cohibas, like Cigarillo Cohibas, and I believe uh, either a Monte Cristo or a Romeo and Julieta. I'm not sure. And those uh, inside the the cases. And those back there, those are Cubans, 100% Cubans. Um, the next picture. It's the lower, uh, it's the lower um, tray. I guess I am marketing them. I did it sometime back, um, a video on them. I, I'm, I, hopefully, I'll post it up here. Okay, I, 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 did, I didn't want to call them out, but yeah, the Casa de Garcia. I, I see cheaper cigar in the sense that they're more affordable. But I actually think this this Casa de Garcia is an excellent starter for someone who's starting to smoke cigars because it's affordable and it's what they call the 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 tan the tan the 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 it's tan it's not dark brown the leaf is not dark brown which tends to be a lot higher uh and, and stronger it's a light tan so it, you'll your, your smoke's not going to be as heavy nor as spicy as well uh and if you i don't know if you can tell if anybody's gonna zoom in or not but it should be it looks like from the picture it should be around 60 uh, 65 percent the humidity on 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 the thermometer that came with the uh, humidor um, and once again the other picture the last one uh, that I might post it's it's closed it's the bottom it's what I was telling you guys about I normally just keep it for storage those boxes are empty those two boxes are, are empty uh, but you can also keep uh, you know cigars in there as well but uh, close if you'd like but I like to have mine open exposed inside so it can be much cooler being closed inside the box um, especially so lower down in the fridge it might lose a little um, the temperature of the humidor uh, because more or less you know let's say this is the humidor hypothetically speaking the fan is more or less about in the middle so obviously things in the bottom won't be as cool as let's say things up here so what I recommend you guys to do is rotate your cigars you know move them around or literally rotate bring the tray down the trays move so you can move the trays that I would recommend what I do with my Casa de Garcia is I tend to move them around once in a while so you know air can flow in between the tray and once again here is the full picture of the um, of the humidor as you can see, it's in the corner. It's not really convenient for me to bring, you know, all the lighting and it would be terrible there. So I decided to do the pictures. And if you guys quickly look, you can see right in the corner, there's um, my uh, travel humidor. Uh, if it's, uh, not sure right now, but I believe if it's 20 plus cigars, if I like to take them with me. Uh, do I recommend this humidor? Absolutely. I highly recommend it. Guys, uh, I'm sorry if I took this long to do the video. Okay, it's working fine. I mean, if anybody, if you guys, the ones that left me a comment, if you guys see it again, uh, let me, uh, let me know what you guys think about this review. Uh, the lighting inside, I, that's what I just looked. Somebody was asking about the lighting. The lighting will not pass 
maybe the second tray. It probably won't because you know the cigars are you know they're thick. They have plastic. Uh, it won't it won't travel far. It would be nice maybe if there was some type of maybe side lighting instead. I mean having a strong light will heat up your cigars, so that's not a good idea. Uh, but maybe some side lightings l light would be nice maybe in each in each line of the trays i think that might be nice okay so uh for one, once i open the humidor guys if you guys have been to your local uh, smoke shop it's like walking into the smoke shop or walking into one of those walk-in humidors you get that whiff of smell of cigar smell that's exactly the smell I get every time I open that door. Smells like cigar, smells like leather, like chocolate, like nuts. It's just fantastic. I love this humidor. It's not a sponsored video. They did not purchase this humidor for me then, nor right now. They didn't give me anything. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to stick around to the end screen and watch additional videos. Hit that like and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.